Hi, this is Puck. Welcome. Uh, I'm uh, busy building Max. I'm really bored. And um, after the successful install on the E machine E720 and on the Aspire 3680, we have another victim. And this victim is an old Pentium 4. It uh, is one with hyper trading uh, uh, technology. So it shows two processors, but in fact, it's one processor. Okay, up here we have um, a 10 gigabyte hard drive. We booted up with iDenup. I think it's 10.5.5, way too uh, old. But 10.6 uh, is not even booting from uh, on the system, so you know it's not possible to do that. What we're gonna do? We're gonna hit partition up here, and we're gonna create one partition. And we're gonna call it snow or leopard this is not even snow this is just leopard and then we hit apply we create one disk mac os extended journal of 10 gigabytes we created one partition we called it leopard it's all good now we have a partition called uh, mac os journal we hit next and this is really important because uh, uh, we will have to make different uh, selections as what we already made in other machines. It's always different, always different. Okay, let's look at what we have here. We see additional language transla uh, translations, I don't need that. Additional fonts, I don't need that. X11, I don't need that. Patches. AMD patch we have no AMD in here the sound we will take AC 97 audio and use only this driver if your card is not provided let's take the Apple Asalia audio we take that one can you see it a little bit my friends Let's zoom in a little bit more for you there. So, we take the Apple Azalea audio, because I'm not sure about the sound in this thing. I did not study too good. Hold on, I'll be right back. Let's make a little study. After, okay, after a small study I just made, I discovered that we have the Sigmatel drivers in this machine. But which one? Um, I see the Sigma, only Sigmatel I see is a Sigmatel 9200 Inspiron. So, you know, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna select the Sigmatel 9200. For the chipset, we must be very careful what to choose. The chipset is very important. This is an Apple Enforce Ata. Yeah, this is what we will choose. Uh, the ICHX fixed. It's also a driver for Intel chipsets. Older the Enforce chipset driver by Metadel. Better support if you have kernel Penix with new version. And this is experimental driver for Enforce chipset. Oh no, I should not have Enforce Arta. I must have ICHX fixed because that one is for Intel chipsets. You see that? I was a little confused. We go to the kernel. Don't select more than one uh, chip center, but I think you should know that. Um, kernel, I think 9.4 stage X and U. A patch for Intel, AMD, SS2 and SS3. So that should do with this processor. The network, Ethernet. The Ethernet driver of this thing is the Broadcom let's see if we have a Broadcom driver in here and we see we have no oh hold on here the Apple Broadcom Apple BC 440 we might try that one 
and for the Wi-Fi, the wireless, we have no wireless in here, but I'm gonna take the RT2500 because I have a Wi-Fi stick for that. So, you know, we will have Wi-Fi. Really cool. They also had the uh, Atheros and the Broadcom in here. This is really cool that the Atheros is in here. But then again, this is an old version of, of, of Mac. Eh? So I, I will not install this on my Acer Aspire 3680, but that one has the Broadcom uh, or the what was I saying the Atheris uh, Wi-Fi driver. So this Kex, you know, it's not working in in version six. Okay, then we have the fixes here. ACPI fix. Uh, this fix is for ACPI crashes with some main boards. For example, SROC 4 core la, 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 may have to boot, so we will not select it. CP, CPUs is one is fixed. Select this if you have crashes in the normal mode. Apple SM BIOS. Let's take the SM BIOS of a MacBook. All right. Firewire remove. Um. Does the, this thing have a fire wire? Yes, it has a fire wire, so I will not remove it. Uh, USB fix if USB don't work. Power management, we need that. And power off fix. I'm not sure if we don't if we have a power off uh, problem, so I will not choose for that. About the video card, this is an NVIDIA card, and um, it's. Uh, NVIDIA a graphics card with it was the what was it again the 5200 and the thing is only 128 megabytes I think yeah? so we're gonna select this one NV inject and then 128 card Select this if you have six, seven gold series. Uh, select this is uh, with five and twelve. NV Kush. This is NV Kush by Diabolic. If NV Inject doesn't work, you can try these drivers thanks to Diabolic. So we can also say we don't use NV Inject at all, and we go for NV Kush. something is saying me that I should do that these are the applications we can also install and that was it so the only problem I'm in here is the video card what should I choose NV inject 128 megabyte let me do a little study. I'll be right back. I just discovered that um, this thing has an NVIDIA GeForce FX Go 5200 AGP with only 32 megabyte RAM. So I cannot select 128 megabyte RAM. Let's see if there's something here at the beginning. no NV inject because if I select NV inject I must select one of them so I think we have to do what I just said we're gonna install NV Kosh that's what we're gonna install the driver so these are the choices I made and we're gonna install I then up 10.5.5 version 1.3 so get back to you after the reboot at this part you can skip the checking of the DVD okay the installation succeeded successfully so let's see if we made the right choices because now we will have to start up and we will see if this Dell can be a, a Mac as well I did it before I remember I did it before but today I did it with iDenim 5.5, uh, the 
10.5.5 eh? so we will have to see we will remove the DVD and if I fail <laughs> I might not do it again I'm just too ignorant to do it one more time I did it three days after each other created two uh, great Macs uh, from old laptops and now I want to do it with an even older laptop but if I fail I don't know if I will I don't hope that the NV Kush will give us problems we're starting up we're starting up let's pray 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 we see the logo okay let's see if we see hard disk activity I think I see hard disk activity as well this is always a very 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 special moment I'm not sure if I see hard disk activity. Yeah, that is the hard disk. Yes, it's the hard drive. I'm talking about this here. I don't know if you can see it here. Oops. The little light here. You know, it should blink. That means hard drive is at least found. It's starting up from the hard drive and not just booting for nothing. And we didn't start up with no comment, no slash V slash whatever, slash X. I had to with my other machine, but then again, I did it today one, once more and then everything went right and it had to type anything. It's still starting up. Hey, hey, look at that. Wow, I did it again, people. Sound should start any second now. Busy. The wheel. Hey, look at that. But we have no sound, huh? Not yet. Do we have sound? I don't hear no sound. But hey, she she started up. So Probably the the Yukon or what was it the, the sound driver that I choose wasn't good enough, so I have to choose the Apple the Apple uh, the Apple audio driver. But at least the video is 100% working. So you see this NV Kush driver that we selected was the right driver to select. I'll get back to you after I inserted all these little settings. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 Studio 48, uh, eh, eh, eh. we got the working, yo, I, uh, I deleted everything again, and did it, uh, one more time, because the sound wasn't working, the rest was working, as you can see, the screen is working, all resolutions available, and I even have a Netgear Wi-Fi stick, that I will install so this thing will be like really experimental so I really gonna do the settings for the second time now